Is there another memoir percolating in that fertile mind? What's the next um, one? Not at the moment. Um, I've got um, the magazine. We have a new gourmet cookbook coming out in September. We have a gourmet cook cookie book coming out in December. Um, we have um, a new TV show that I'm shooting all around the world this summer. We have gourmet.com. Um, I do a radio show. Um, right now, um, I'm running as fast as I can, and another memoir isn't in it. You have very much democratized Gourmet Magazine and kind of taken it out of the penthouse and into the streets and broadened, it, broadened its appeal enormously. You've also said that you think this recession has the silver lining of getting people back into the kitchen. Now, I love to cook. For me, cooking is a form of entertainment, and in, in my you know, authoritarian manner, I think everybody should cook. Right. But when I, you know, get a little perspective and get intelligent about it, I say to myself, well, why should everybody cook? Just because I like cooking doesn't mean everybody should like it. Maybe takeout is fine seven nights a week for everybody. And I'm wondering, why do you think, what is the value that you find in cooking? And why are you so happy that people are back in the kitchen? What's the deeper value? Um, I think cooking is one way that you express love for your family. And I think that... They understand that. I think there's nothing as soothing as opening the door to the house and smelling food cooking. I think that the message that everybody in your family gets is, I care for you. I've taken this time to do this for you. Um, I don't think that you have to cook fabulous meals. I don't think you have to cook from scratch. I mean, one of the reasons that to, I mean, we have, 12 food editors who do nothing but invent recipes all day, and they are furious at me because I make them do 10-minute main courses. But um, I think it's important for us to help people for whom cooking is not a great pleasure get good food on the table for their families. It's also cheaper to cook food than it is to be ordering in all the time. Um, and you you know, you're, you're able to cook healthier food. Um, it's also, you know, when you take your kids to the grocery store with you, it's, it's wonderful time. I mean, part of what I found when Nick was growing up is I think kids are natural cooks. And when I couldn't figure out what to do with him, we'd just go into the kitchen. And, or we'd go to the grocery store. But um, I think, you know, I, I truly believe that cooking is what makes us human. We cook, animals don't. And that we, I mean, it's true. I mean, they eat raw food. We eat cooked food. Um, and That's just because, you know, they hadn't discovered sushi yet. <laughs> no, but there, there's, 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 a, there's an interesting anthropological argument about how cooking did make us human and that it created the sense of time um, you have to be able to conceive of a future, to go out hunting and, and you know, think about bringing it back and what you're going to cook. And uh, I think we ought to be paying homage to the fact that you know, cooking is, one, is a serious human activity. When you were the restaurant critic at the Times, I'm guessing not too much cooking went on in your home. That's true, and I, it's, I regret it. Uh -huh. I, did, did you get sick of going out every night? Going to restaurants? Um, you know, I mean, I love restaurants. Um, and I love, I'm very social, so I love that time with friends. You know, it's like being a restaurant critic. Part of it is just, as you know, being able to spend a lot of time at a table. Yes. You know, I mean, Lots of fun. Um, you didn't get sick of it. And um, I really didn't. I wow. loved restaurants. 